Okay, um, our next reading is from the book of Luke, uh, chapter 19, verses 1 through 10. It's one of my favorite stories. He entered Jericho and was passing through it. A man was there named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and he was rich. He was trying to see who Jesus was, but on account of the crowd, he could not because he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and he climbed a sycamore tree to see him because he was going to pass that way. When Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he hurried down and was happy to welcome him. All who saw it began to grumble and said, he has gone to be the guest of one who is a sinner. Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, look, half of my possessions, Lord, I, I will give them to the poor. And if I have if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will pay back four times as much. Then Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek out and to save the lost. Jesus set an example for us over and over of welcoming people with a form of radical hospitality. It didn't matter who or where you were, even a tax collector in a tree on the side of the road, Jesus would greet and meet with people from all walks of life, no matter who they were, or where they were on life's journey, as we like to say in the UCC. This concept of radical hospitality has been on my mind a lot lately. And so, when I went on this mission trip, I had my eyes open and looked for acts of radical hospitality and experienced several. I can't take the time this morning to tell you about all of them, but I will share just one. Imagine, if you will, that you are a homeowner. You live in an old house, badly in need of repair. If you had enough money, surely you would hire a professional to make the much needed repairs to your home. As it is, you don't have the money to do so. But this motley crew of volunteers with varying levels of skills and experiences, but none professional contractors, arrive to do the job. How difficult this must be to trust this group of people to come into your home to start tearing things out with the hope that they're going to replace them in a way that is better than what they had before. I was blown away at the generous acceptance of our help at each of the three houses that I was privileged to serve. I will forever remember this trip with warm feelings of all the radical hospitality extended towards me and towards our crew from CUCC.